the best part of the life is that it gives us an interesting package of all kinds of experiences. Some experiences are very good and some are bad. But that itself is the best part of the life. We have to be okay with all kinds of experiences. It is very much okay when continuous failures keep troubling us. It is very much okay when the person whom we love the most, when the person whom we trust the most hurts us. It is okay when sometimes you find yourselves in a very isolated situation. You feel like dejected by everyone around you. It is very much okay when you don't have a penny in your pocket. It is okay when you don't have a single rupee in your bank account. When you lost your money in the business and when you're in a state of insolvent. We have read the stories of people from rags to riches and also from riches to rags. So it is very much okay when you don't have a single rupee in your pocket. It is very much okay when the person or when your friend whom you trust the most cheats you and you're deceived by your best friend. It is very much okay. It is also okay when you are insulted by someone so badly that you are emotionally low. It is very much okay when all the fame and reputation that you have earned for a long time is lost. It is also okay when you don't get success every time, when your dreams are not fulfilled and when you don't reach your goal even you try very much hard. It is also okay when you don't get the right support and help from the person when you need it the most. It is also okay when your talent is not recognized properly or when your company doesn't really identify you as a special talented person or when you don't get promotion in your company. It is also okay when nobody in your house, when no one in your family really understands what exactly is going through in your mind and when your family disagrees with you every time. It is okay in all these cases because when there are hundred reasons to be unhappy, there are also hundred reasons to be happy about. So it is okay to have all these things. So having said all this, it is undoubtedly a fact that the role of the family and friends, especially in the case of a person who is emotionally low, is very much significant. However, when there is a direct role of family and friends, there is also an indirect role of the society. Yes, also I have told you before, when the society is too much busy spreading negativity and hatred and violence, definitely will leave an impression especially on the people who are emotionally low. Here there is something that we need to really understand, the importance of empathy. Yes, the recent suicide of a film star Sushant has really reminded all of us to once again think of empathy. We all really have to be more and more empathetic towards the co-humans. Now that a famous popular film actor died, we all talk about empathy. However, every day hundreds of people really commit suicides. So empathy is definitely the need of the hour. So my dear friend, don't lose hope in any kind of situation. Don't allow any kind of negativity to disturb your emotional strength. Focus more on your emotional quotient. It is a sad fact that our education system has taught us how to improve our IQ, but not EQ. So it is the time to really focus more on emotional intelligence or emotional quotient. So don't forget that you have the best and you are the best. And finally, don't die. Live your life.